Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Another weekend of motorsport action has come and gone, the last for October as we move on to November and the end of the motorsport year. So this weekend we have the final round of Super Formula from Suzuka to look at. We have both the World Rallycross and Nitro Rallycross coming to us from Europe and the USA and from Australia the opening round of the very short Tasman series and the penultimate round of the V8 supercars from the Gold Coast. The Motorsport Games was this weekend also, but I'll put a different video together for that later this week. What I will say is it was good. And with that, let's begin our look back at the previous weekend's racing. We had two races from Suzuka for the series finale of the Super Formula Series. Tomoki Najiri came into the weekend with a good lead to retain his championship. Would he survive to take his second crown in a row? Well, race one was a good one. Najiri led from the front early on, but pitted earlier than most. Teammate Akio Sasahara took the lead and they led 1-2 when title rival Sasha Fenestras pitted. After a good season, he really struggled in this race. Rotomo Miata should have got a podium, but a botched pit stop put an end to that. There were some good battles towards the end, but no one could stop Sasahara from winning the race, or Tomoki Najiri from winning the championship with a race to spare, and a 1-2 from Yugen Honda. So, with the championship settled, race 2 was just for fun. Fukuzumi ended his race at the first corner and was heard saying his name over and over. That brought out the safety car. Najiri led but another safety car was called after a lazy and Matsushita made contact with the latter ending up buried in the barrier. The race was dominated by Tomoki Najiri, finishing the championship in style. Move of the weekend though goes to my boy Kamui Kobayashi who got 2 for 1 at the first corner. Sensational move and it was worth watching the Super Formula races for that move alone. Tamuki Najiri dominated this championship in the end on the podium in 8 of the 10 races. The only two times he finished off the podium, he finished 4th. Can he do it again in 2023? We will have to wait and see. Nitro Rallycross from Los Angeles and only 8 cars competing, a side effect of sharing the weekend with the World Rallycross. There was still some good battling going on. Fraser McConnell managed to take his first ever top qualifier after winning the battle brackets. In the last chance qualifier, Travis Pastrana was late to the grid but still charged onto the back of the race in the funniest thing I've seen all year. He sadly wasn't allowed to compete. Conor Martel was sadly having issues so it was between Ollie Bennett and Ollie Eriksson. Eriksson then got damaged so Bennett was on his own. This was wacky and brilliant and fun Everything motorsport and especially rallycross should be. Pastrana hit the wall in the semi-final and Backward came from the back to finish second but it was Kevin Erickson who won the semi. The final saw all eight cars on the grid or at least it would have but Pastrana was too damaged to take part. It was a great final with an exciting finish and Jamaican Fraser McConnell took his first ever Nitro rallycross win. Nitro has a long way to go and anyone could still take the championship. The World Rallycross gave us two rounds from Spain. Clara Anderson took an interesting route whilst trying to protect her teammate from Bergstrom, but Johan Christophsen dominated the first semi-final. No surprise there. The Hansen brothers dominated semi-2 with Kevin winning. Some team play in the first final of the weekend. Timmy Hansen took out Christophsen, but Gronholm led the way. He couldn't hold off Timmy Hansen though, who took the win. Christophsen would have to wait to be champion. Day 2 and the first semi was dominated by Christofferson. Carla Anderson got into the final after Gronholm ran into issues and that was enough to give Johan Christofferson the title. Kevin went on a big slide in the second semi. He would have won the drifting contest with that. Timmy Hansen won the semi and so he moved to the final final of the weekend. Christofferson dominated, it was boring, he's a 5 time champion. Australian supercars from the Gold Coast. Shane Van Gisbergen is basically guaranteed to be champion. The first race was boring and Shane Van Gisbergen won again. Race 2 began with an 11 car pile up, a symptom of street circuits. This caused a car to burst into flames and a red flag. Already a much more exciting race than the first but it was a shame to lose so many cars and at least everyone was alright. There were a few incidents in this race, Scott Pye was running well before ending up in the wall. But Shane Van Gisbergen won again 
a dominant season, 21 wins in 2022. What a send off for Holden it has been. Run round to go at Adelaide in December. Finally, the Tasman series, and very disappointingly, I can't find these races anywhere. I've looked, but I've been denied. Nathan Hearn won all three races, followed home by Joey Mawson in all three races too. And with only a field of nine cars, it doesn't look like I missed much. Only one more round at Adelaide in December as well. So that was everything motorsport from the past weekend. What was your race of the weekend? Mine has to be probably the Nitro Rallycross. It was a lot of fun to watch. Let me know in the comments. Also, brief word, the first ever Formula Regional India series has been cancelled. No idea if they're going to try and start it in 2023 or if it is just done. But that is a great shame. Remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and tell your friends. Thank you for watching and have a good one.